In this video, I'm going to discuss Pearson's product moment correlation coefficient. By the way, this is the fourth part of our discussion in Pearson R. Make sure you already watched the previous videos so that you have already background knowledge on uh, our discussion here in Pearson R. The Pearson sample correlation, also known as the Pearson, Pearson R, denoted by R, is a test statistic that measures the strength of the linear relationship. Take note of this linear relationship between two variables because sometimes the relationship must may be not linear. They have the relationship but not linear. The find R, the following formula is used. Okay, so R is equal to uh, the sample size multiplied by the summation of x, y, product of x and y minus the summation of x multiplied by the summation y all over the square root of uh, n sample size multiplied by the summation of x squared minus summation of x that will be squared multiplied by summation of y squared multiplied by the sample size minus the square of the summation of y. It seems to be difficult for us to do this, but later we are going to uh, do this to comp or compute this step by step. The correlation coefficient is a number between, it can only fall between negative, and, negative 1 and 1 that describes both the strength and the direction of correlation. In symbol, we write R is greater than or equal to or can be greater than or equal to negative 1 but less than or equal to 1. Okay, to give you an example on how to compute for the Pearson R, we have here teachers of Pag-asa National High School instilled among their students the value of time management and excellence in everything they do. The table below shows the time in hours is spent in studying, that is x, that is our independent variable, by 6 grade 11 students and their scores in a test, y, that is the dependent variable. As you can see, we are asked to solve the Pearson's R or Pearson sample correlation coefficient. Here we have x is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And for our y, we have 5, 10, 10, 15, 25, and 30. So the next section will guide us on how to compute the Pearson product moment correlation. So the first one is to construct a table as shown on the right. So you're going, we're making it vertically, or we're going to... Uh, construct the graph or the table vertically and we must add additional uh, columns for xy, x squared, and y squared. Next, second task is to multiply entries in the xy columns, put them under xy column. So 1 times 5, 5, 2 times 10, 20, 3 times 10, 30, 4 and 15, 65 times 25, 1, 2, 5, 6 times 30, 180. So here we have the square of the x, which is 1. 1 squared is 1. 2 squared, 4. 3 squared, 9. 4 squared, 16. 5 squared, 25. 6 squared is 36. And for the last, we have y squared. 5 squared is 25. 10 squared is 100. 15 squared is 225. 25 squared is 625, and 30 squared is 900. After that, we have to uh, sum up the entries on the, on the first two six rows. So 1 to 6, 21, we have here 95. The sum of this is 95. The sum of this is 420, while well, this one is 91. And the last one is 1,875. So, next, after we have that, we are now ready to plug it in our formula. 
Okay, remember, we have here the formula and then replacing the values. We're replacing the variables by their values. For n, we have 6 because there are 6 respondents. So we have your 6. We have your 6. And for this, we have 6. Summation of x, y, 420. Summation of x, 21. Summation of y, 95. Summation of x squared, 91. X or the summation of x is 21. Summation of y squared is 1,975. Summation of y is 95. Now, if you have your scientific calculator, if you have your calculator with you, just put it in your calculator and that will give you the result right away. But if you don't have any calculator, a uh, scientific calculator that uh, it will provide, that will provide you the easier method, so uh, solving this step by step, we have uh, 2520 minus 1995 and so on and then we will arrive at this the value of r will be 0 0.96 if it is rounded off to the nearest hundreds so the value of r is a positive number okay therefore we can say accurately that there is a positive correlation because r is positive the Correlation is positive between hours spent in studying and their scores in a test. It means the more you spend time uh, studying, the higher your score will be. Okay? Note, for consistency of our answer, we are to round our answer or our final answer into the decim two decimal places. Oh, by the way, this is a rule of thumb for interpreting the strength of a relationship based on its R. So we are going to take the absolute value of R to determine its relationship. It is, if it is less than 0.3, uh, you may say that it may be none or very weak relation. Strength. Strength is very weak. If it falls between negative 3 or between 0.3 rather, to 0 0.5 it is weak if it is 0 0.5 to 0 0.7 it is moderate if it is greater than 7 but less than 1 it is strong but if it is equal to 1 that will be perfect correlation and that is all for this video